All right, guys, so today we're here to talk about some new official changes announced by Magist from Epic Games about uh, the new power levels of players going forward in Save the World. Can I be your superhero? All right, guys, if you love the content that we do here, please, please use our supporter creator code, guys. It really helps us out and keeps us making videos for you guys. So thank you so much for the support. All right, rock and roll. Let's get right into it. Okay, so check it out, guys. New official information uh, posted on Reddit by Magist in regards to the power levels is a lot of people have been noticing that um, the power levels have changed. And uh, this is due to some micro changes that they've made to the system uh, due to exponential growth of the different uh, enemies and whatnot. The power level that you were fighting didn't really line up with the power level that uh, you were fighting against them. In order to be more visually accurate, uh, they have they have went and changed the numbers that you see on the screen. Now, what this means is that nothing has actually changed in terms of the enemy power level. This is just a visual UI change. However, there is a huge, mega huge change that has happened, and that is the new maximum power level of the game, officially announced by Magist, is now 145. So the potential power level that you could get is 145 if you were to get all of the possible uh, survivor superchargers that you could possibly get. 145 is now the maximum power level possible. Absolutely mind-blowing. All right, guys, so here's what Magis had to say to clarify what's going on. Hey, everyone. We made some adjustments to power levels to support promoted survivors and corrected some bugs associated with how it's being calculated. The new power levels should be a more accurate measure of what content is appropriate for the fort stats. The actual game difficulty, fort stats, and the health shield of the husks have not changed. Just the rating displayed in the UI. Most of the shifts were relatively small, resulting in a slight increase or de decrease in the power level. The intended cap for level 50 survivors uh, was 130. The old formula wasn't accounting for certain sources of fort and allowed people to go slightly above 130 as a result. The new cap you can reach with promoted level 60 survivors is 145. Oh, ho, ho. Husk ratings above 140 were also dramatically increased. The old ratings were a basic linear sequence that didn't map out exponentially increasing power level of husks. The new ratings better reflect their relative power. Note that this is also just a visual UI change. Their health and damage was not modified. And of course, this is going to take a long time and many venture seasons to collect enough superchargers to ever achieve this. But knowing what the new cap is, is going to, man, the, the pressure is definitely on to for the players to get every single supercharger every single season to see who's the first person to actually get and achieve that power level 145 landmark. Man, it is freaking awesome. I can't wait to see uh, who the hardcore grinders are who stick with it and who ends up being the first person to unlock that that mythic power level 145. Oh man, so dope. Now in other news, with the new patch brings some new interesting changes. Um, the collection book, for example, has actually changed. If you go to the event people and to the Art Deco Heroes, you will notice that the Art Deco Heroes are now recruitable for training manuals and flux. That's right, training manuals and flux. So you can go and get all of the new Art Deco Heroes just with the flux and the training manuals that you have been hoarding. And yeah, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped. I've been really wanting to get my hands on these heroes, and uh, I was only able to get one of them, you know, when the Art Deco Llamas actually dropped. And uh, even then, I didn't really get the one that I really wanted. And now we can rectify that. If you're willing to part with your legendary flux, you can have all of the Art Deco heroes if you don't want to wait for them to be released whenever that's going to be. <laughs> all right, guys, so that is all of your in the news. 
for the for our new daily update for save the world when we have more information you get it here first rock and roll guys i will see you in the next one oh yeah <laughs>